Hello, welcome to WILP Digital Evaluation System training session. In today's training, we would learn A, how to register, assign evaluators, B, how to evaluate using the online interface. Now, you must have got a mail from the EVM cell. In that mail, there is a link that in order to start evaluation, click on that link. If you click that link, this is the page which you reach. Now, first we would see how to register evaluators. We need to remember that an evaluator can be the instructor himself or can be the TA which is assigned to him. In case the instructor doesn't have a TA, he still needs to register himself before he could start taking the evaluation. Now, in step two, this is the link which we click and we reach this page wherein we would log in using the login credentials. The login credentials are same as which has been mailed to you as an instructor. So I'm using my login credentials and the password which is also mailed and I click and login. On clicking and login, this is where I reach. Now in this screen, as you can see, this is how I register the evaluator. So first I need to select the semester, then the course, which is over here a dummy. The instructor's name is automatically selected, which you can see. Now I give the name of the TA. So name of the TA, which I want to assign. And then the email ID of the TA. Remember, email ID of the TA has to be the bits ID, bits ID of the student. And the password is the password which I assigned to the teaching assistant. Using this password, he should be able to log into the interface. So this password. I as an instructor is to be deciding. So I give a password and then I can also assign a pen color for the TA. So if I have more than one TA, I could choose between two different pen, pen colors or three different pen colors so that it is easier for me to understand which TA has evaluated which question if there are multiple questions to be evaluated from different TAs. Now over here I choose the pen color as red. Mobile number and alternative mobile number is optional along with the email ID and address. These are all optional fields. I leave it blank. I simply click and submit. On submitting, it is automatically registered, which means the TA whom I have chosen as an evaluator is registered. And over here I see registered successfully. Now, if I want to assign another TA, I straight away go over here and assign the TA. If I don't want to register that TA, I straight away go over here, then assign. After I have assigned the TA, I first need, I have registered the TA, I first need to assign, assign the courses. So I select the course, the semester, then the course, then the evaluation component, which is EC2 regular. Then over here, I see these are the two evaluators. So I have selected, I have registered Ayush. So I select Ayush. Over here, the total number of candidates I see here, total number of candidates assigned I have, I can see here, and total number of candidates not assigned I can see here. So ID numbers, I can assign all ID numbers or I can select some ID numbers from a range or I can assign all. For question numbers also, I can assign all or selected questions like question one and three to this particular TA. I say all and I click and submit. Assign evaluator successful. Now I click an instructor report. I see these are the courses which has been assigned to this person. On completing this after I register all my TAs or in case I am as an instructor evaluating something I have to register myself and then assigning the copies which is to be evaluated. After the entire process is done I simply log out.
I log out from this screen and I should reach the mail which has been mailed to me and I come back to this screen. Now in this screen over here I select to download the software for evaluation which means now I have registered the student the TA in case the instructor himself is evaluating the instructor has registered himself assigned the copies which is to be evaluated now it's time for evaluation so I come over here I install the evaluation interface software to evaluate now once I am clicking over here it will download the software I have to extract it all the steps are mentioned over here and it will be installed in my system once the application is installed I would see this as a desktop icon so I double click to open this interface here let me show you how I start the evaluation similarly I would key in the login credentials remember over here if my TA is evaluating the TA needs to key in his own bits ID which is given as a username and the password which the instructor has assigned to him so I log in After I log in, I reach the screen. This is the evaluator screen where the evaluator would be evaluating. So I select the semester, I select the course, and I select the component. Just below that, I get the summary. This is the summary. By default, the non evaluated ID numbers are selected. So search by ID numbers, I select non evaluated. If I am evaluating for the first time, I would select this that the ID numbers which are not evaluated please show me those ID numbers I select this and click and search now over here I would see all the ID numbers which has been assigned to me to evaluate I click on a particular copy so all these are different ID numbers of copy so there are five different copies assigned to me if you remember and also over here the summarize the summary shows total IDs assigned is five so I click and search I get this five I click and evaluate and this is where I reach the interface for evaluation on the left hand side pane we see the scanned copy the scanned image of the copy on the right hand side pane we see the navigation buttons along with the thumbnails and where we can key in the numbers the numbers on against each question total marks will be automatically given I can mention over here the comments in case a question is not attempted I click over here I cannot leave it blank in case a question is not attempted by the student I have to click over here then finally I click and save after I have finished evaluating all the questions in this particular copy which means evaluation complete for one particular student now let me see how we can navigate so I can one do is navigate directly by clicking on the thumbnail it takes me to that particular page or I can use these navigation buttons so let us go and check directly page number four I click on the thumbnail I reach here over here very interesting part is my cursor is a pen itself and remember for Ayush we had assigned pen color as red so here is what I get I can mark I can put certain things
And for this particular question, which is question number four, there are two subsections. So I can give assign marks as well. So two and two, which means total four. I can use the navigation buttons over here as well. I can mark something. And over here, we I would use another feature which is zoom feature. So let's say this or this is a particular word which I'm not understanding. So I click in zoom, I hover the mouse over here. So on hovering the mouse, it would zoom. And the zoom feature inside also the pen is active. So I can underline. I can underline. Once I'm done, I can close the zoom. For each question, I can key in some comments. For this question where there are no subsections, I can either give the total marks or I will say question not attempted in case the student has not attempted the question. So it is automatically zero. Once it is done, I click in, click here to save and evaluate the next ID number. So there, I am done with one evaluation. So if I search again, let's see what I get. Which means one copy has been evaluated. but it is not showing the copy under evaluated IDs. Why? Reason being, I have not attempted or I have not evaluated all the questions. So I need to go back and ensure that I evaluate all the questions and all the subsections. Also, if I am giving marks to a particular subsection more than the assigned mark it will give a pop-up maximum marks to this question is one section two which means for B I have to give one that is the maximum mark for C I give two so it is five so I say this as total marks four I say this is not attempted question number three I give the comments I click and save Now I click here, I search again, and now I do not see that ID number because I've evaluated. So now I see four copies. So if I click in evaluated IDs and I search, I would see this. And I click the evaluate button again, it would show me what all comments I have entered, what all marks I have entered. Close it and once I'm complete done with the evaluation it is very important that one logs out so additionally uh, apart from this video of training session we would also give the instruction manual for how to assign the TA This is on how to assign a TA and then how do I take the assessment? This brings us to the end of this training session. Thank you.